We are plant health protectors and we're responsible for keeping all the plants in Kew's living collections safe, keeping pests and diseases out of Kew. We do this by inspecting every plant that comes into Kew, by quarantining those whose health we're not sure about, and by monitoring the health of all the plants that stay here. So plants are introduced into the quarantine house and we inspect them in the inspection bay and then when we've decided whether they're healthy and whether we're going to keep them, we pop them up and they come here to high containment where they'll live in one of the eight bays here. The climate conditions in each of these bays is variable so that we can keep the plants happy and healthy. The air doesn't go out of the building without being filtered and the water doesn't leave the building without being sterilised and the whole area is kept very, very clean. Typically, they will be kept here for one growing season before they can be released out into the collections at Kew. Plants come into Kew from a number of different sources. We have confiscations, donations, wild collected plants. We also buy a certain number of plants. If we have a large number of plants that need to come directly here, we can drive them in through this roll-up door into the loading bay. So this is an example of the sort of material that we've received at Kew. It's a leaf with a number of galls on it. The galls have housed mites in the past, so we've kept it here in the quarantine house. It's a beauty. Any plants that come in with a significant pest or disease problem that we can't resolve will have to come in here into the incinerator and be destroyed. And obviously we don't like doing that, but we do have to think about the rest of the collection at Kew. The reason what we do here is so important is that we have a huge variety of valuable and diverse plants here at Kew. And if one of them came in with a non-native pest or disease problem, it could easily get out and find its way into British flora, cause all sorts of problems.